Hello everyone, it's the Bearded Spark. We're here with a brand new channel. First ever video, we're gonna be looking at full transit custom, giving it review. Let's get on with it. Okay, before we get started with the video, please, brand new channel, you know how this goes, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, like the video, leave a comment, let's grow this channel, it all helps, you know, it's the second channel I've had to do now, um, really want to get it kick started, so please, do all of that stuff, really helps me out, makes all this stuff worthwhile. Um, let's get on with the video. So, we are looking at the Ford Transit Custom. Okay, here it is. And before we um, before we get too far into it, like I said, it's going to be a it's very much going to be a um, a review on the van as opposed to a van tour, which I will do. I've something I've done before, but that video's gone now, so I'll do it again. Um, but yeah, this is very much just a review on the van, the, the good and the bad, but from obviously someone that's, that's using it rather than a car salesman, you know. Um, so we start with the outside. I will say this is an absolutely bog standard. Um, transit custom you know it's company provided so there's nothing special about it there's no bells and whistles but actually it's still a really really fantastic van um, there's, there's not much I don't like about it really um, there's, a, there's a couple of really big things I want to zone in on firstly you'll notice if I go to the mirrors first so these these little mirrors down here these are lifesavers most vans come with them I don't even know what it's called to be honest to you, someone will be able to tell me. But it just, it picks up all your blind spots when you're driving anyway, so you, you know, your cyclists and what have you. Which is obviously important, but also you will know, being a box standard van, there are absolutely no parking sensors. No parking sensors whatsoever, but with them mirrors, it's so easy to reverse and the turning circle is so amazing on this van. Um, that it, it, I've really never been a problem to me. Um, you will notice a couple of dents and scratches on the van. These are not from me. Um, obviously, it's a 16-plate van. I started with a company 2019. Um, so, as you can imagine, things like this, you know, this, this was here when I got the van, unfortunately, not caused by me. Um, the light, light configuration, you know, what can you say about lights? I do like these, these door lights. Um, you know, it's, it's, it does help people behind you. You know, it's like when you're following a van and you can't see what's in front of it. Um, you want plenty of warning when they're braking and them lights do help out with that. Um, you notice that it's got a couple of door locks on these. We know van security is absolutely dreadful at the best of times from the manufacturer. So anything you can get with door locks, you've got to get it. It's an absolute must. Um, deadlocks are good as well, but the trouble is, you know, with deadlocks, if you leave your, uh, leave your keys in the van, you're stuffed. Um, Let's have a look inside here. So you've got plenty of space in the doors. You know, plenty of storage. You've got one and two. Uh, this is this is actually storage down here. This is just a cover. There's stuff behind. Actually, so you can't store in that. Um, you've got a drink holder. That obviously, I don't keep drinks in. You've got another cup holder up here. Um, you've got this nice little bit of storage space under here. It's got a 12 volt charger in as well. Um, as we slide in. And we've got a bit more storage down here. Um, little bucket there. You've got quite a lot of big storage under the actual seats. So I'll lift that up for you. And that one. So you get quite a big storage here. Also, if you know about these vans, anyway, if you don't, there's a little grill back here. That actually comes off so you can get three metre lengths in through the back of the van. Um, I never use it obviously because I've got a rhino tube on the top but that's what that's for and that's what this space under here is for really but if you don't use that like me you've got a nice bit of storage space there um, I quite like the instrument layout it's really simple as you can see no bells, no whistles um, obviously you've got the trip computer you know what you do with them there's no there's absolutely no cruise control you know, there's no speed limit or anything like that because it is box standard. However, it does come with hill start. I don't know why. <laughs> Seems confusing to me, but yeah, it's got hill start. So there you go. That's what you get on the basic van. 
Um, no water lights. There's your light dial down there. Fog light. And what else can we talk about? It does, does the auto locking of the doors. That's what that is over there. That lights up with your auto lock. Obviously it has the lights. Standard radio, no sat nav. Um, yeah, there you go. It's not a lot to go on. There's 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 your uh, there's your locks there, so you can open and close the van from the inside. A um, couple of things that really annoy me about this van, because although I know it's box standard, you will notice down here your auto windows. Brilliant. But why the driver's one is automatic, the passenger side isn't. I don't know why. I don't know how much money you could possibly save by not making one side automatic, probably about two quid. But there you go. So that's that's a frustration for me. Um, what other frustrations are there with this van? There's not a lot, to be honest. For, for the money you'd pay for a box standard, Fords are always going to be the most expensive van you can buy um, or whatever level you get. Uh, but for good reason, I think. I think they're good-looking vans. I really do think they're good-looking vans. Um, I think some of the other vans still look a bit dated, um, still quite boxy. Obviously, Ford have got that, they've got more rounded shape. Um, I think that's brilliant. There's plenty of different options as well. Let's show you in the back. So, here we go. So, obviously, I've got stuff in mind, uh, but this is the back of the van. So, there's plenty of options in terms of what you can have. For instance, I've got the rear chargers. Uh, mine don't actually work, I think the fuse has been pulled, but those options. Also, these lights were an option as well on these vans, so you can have them lights on there. Um, you can't see it there, but behind my velocity bag over there, that's the little grill that you take off uh, to get your three metre lengths of anything you want to put in. And then we'll come round to the side door here. Let's show you that. So, if I take this off, this little grill here actually comes out. You can see the hinges running across the top there. So it just flips up and you can get your three meter lengths in there. Um, obviously there's plenty of space. Not that us electricians would be using it, but if you wanted to stick something in and rack it down, ratchet it down and all that sort of malarkey, you're there. Plenty of options for racking as well. Um, obviously plenty of options on the roof. As you see, I've got my wino tube up there. Um, which I, I love I don't think you could beat a Rhino tube but I go more into that when I do the actual van tour and what I keep in it um, but yeah there you go the full transit custom and I do actually think when I look into it when I was going to get a van myself I was always looking at a, um, a Connect the slightly smaller version because I think that's all you need as an electrician really um, if you're just doing local jobs but it's always good to have a bigger van and most people will say that I prefer a bigger van um, I think this is the way to go. The only sticking point probably is the price. You know, you're always going to pay more, as I've said, for a Ford than any other van. Um, but for something that's out of the box, uh, it's really fantastic. I enjoy driving it. I prefer driving it to my car. But considering it's got no air con, nothing, it's got nothing, nothing. If you want to see one of these that are absolutely done to the hilt, you can check out Nick Bundy's video. Um, it's just got the new, the newer plate, which is slightly different up front, slightly different dashboard configuration and stuff. But obviously, that's a man that spent a little bit of money on his, taking a little bit of pride, um, and it <laughs> made his van. It does look really nice. It's a bit, it's not a bit, it's not for everyone, but I love it. I think he's done a really good job. Um, he's made a really, really attractive van. Um, so you can go and check his video. I'll put a link up um, as to what you actually do on a new 20 plate van or 19 plate. I can't remember what he had. I'm sure, it's 20. Um, but yeah, as for most people, a bog standard van, you're not going to do much to it. Um, it's really good. And the one big thing that I'm always surprised with is the turning circle on them. The turning circle is absolutely fat. It's better than my car, the turning circle on these. The things you could get in and out of is, and that's important in the van. You don't realise how important it is until I try and turn in my car and then I realise how easy it is to drive this van. Um, so yeah, there we go. Thanks a lot for watching. Please, as I say, subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that great stuff. And um, see you in the next one. Take care.